Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Ian Clifford from Fuel Positive. And Ian, earlier today, we were talking about nitrogen and how this challenges today's farmer. Let's start there. Sure. Well, nitrogen is one of the most essential uh, inputs for farmers around the world. Um, the production of, of synthetic nitrogen um, feeds half of the world's population, but Unfortunately, it's also one of the most carbon intense manufacturing processes on the planet. So you've got this essential, uh, this essential element that that all farmers need, um, but you've got this massive carbon footprint and a very, very unstable global um, global uh, situation for farmers as it relates to getting their nitrogen when they need it. And of course, you recently announced a private placement. What are the objectives you're planning on achieving with this financing? Well, right now we have our first full-scale demonstration system on a farm uh, in uh, in Manitoba, just outside of Winnipeg, an eleven thousand acre grain farm. Uh, and this financing, this five million dollar life financing that we're doing right now, is designed to fully complete the activation of that first system uh, and then run it through its demonstration phase uh, over the next six to twelve months. We've got dozens and dozens of farmers lined up to purchase systems, but they need to see the system running before they make that commitment. Uh, and uh, and we're super excited uh, with the response we're getting so far. It's been great. Speaking of response and support, it's my understanding that the Manitoba government has been very supportive of you. Can you give us more of an update? They have been, uh, historically, there's been a lot of interest in what we're doing, um, but raising government money at this stage in our development is a real challenge because we're we're between um, that research and development phase, which is relatively straightforward to fund, and the commercialization manufacturing stage, which is also relatively straightforward to fund. Right now, we're in a very operational stage as we do demonstration, and that's why Go, relying on government money in this shoulder period is a challenge. So we said, let's go back out to the market with a life financing uh, available to all Canadians and uh, and raise the capital that way. So that's what we chose to do. So green ammonia production systems. I think many people out there who are not involved in agritech may go, I don't really understand that. Can you provide a little bit more of an overview for those members of our audience? Sure. So the way that ammonia um, is produced today is in large uh, centralized facilities around the world, kind of like um, kind of like a, 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 a petroleum facility, a refinery facility, sort of at that scale. So massive, massive facilities that they then produce ammonia and then ship it all over the world. So it has a, it's all petroleum based. So it has a, a very, very significant carbon footprint and it's all centralized production. Our, our business model is to build systems that live on the farm with the farmer. So these systems are designed to provide this essential and critical input right on the farm. So farmers own the means of production, they own the output of the system and they know when they, they, they always have a very, very clear line of sight on the cost of their nitrogen and also obviously the supply of nitrogen, which is absolutely critical from a timing perspective as a farmer. Once you, uh, you close this financing, what's next for shareholders? Well, the big step will be the, the activation of the system. So this is getting the whole system up and running at, at, at full output. Um, and then all of the data that and inspection and certifications that will flow from that will all be happening uh, in real time over the coming months. So we'll see the performance of the system. And, and then uh, through that, we'll also see the conversion of all of this interest, farmer interest in systems into sales. So right now, farmers, as I said, are really, really keen on seeing that system up and running um, before they'll make purchase commitments. And that's this critical stage uh, that we're entering into. Well, we look forward to a follow up with you shortly. And for those of you out there interested in finding out more about Fuel Positive, please go to the following website. Thank you, Ian. Thank you.